Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to create headers and footers using partial designs and page designs. With Cycor 9.2 and JSS 12, you're now able to create partial designs and page designs within a JSS site. Partial designs are ultimately pieces of your page that you want to be readily available that you can use in different pages or different page types. Page designs are a specific structure that you've defined that can be reused across different pages. So consider, for example, a header like this, which might have navigation, search, social, title, image. You might want this navigation or this header to be used across all your pages. Hence, you create a partial design for this header, which consists of all these different components. Let's see that in action. Since this training is not meant to teach you how to do React implementations, nor is it meant to actually teach you how, uh, or we haven't really gone into how to create components, we're going to just reuse one of the out-of-the-box components to show you how headers and footers are done. So what I'm doing here now is in just inserting partial designs. So I went to presentation, partial designs, and then I can add my header and footer partial designs here. The next step I need to do is actually go to my page designs, or actually before we do that, let's add my header. So now, as you remember from last series, we subdivided our layout into header, main, and footer. So I'll go into header now and add a content block, and I'll use the header content block. Now. I added the header content block within data content block, so I'll just add another one for footer as well. And I'll go here and add content block for footer. Just realized that this is not the actual correct content block. I need to go Sometimes this happens because by default, the footer, I haven't really added definitions for the placeholder or placeholder settings for the header and footer. So what I need to do now is actually just do that. So I'm going to go to renderings, project, within the training series, and then add my content block. Click OK, and then now I can add my content block and add the footer to it. I'll just call uh, write something here just to show you. So here is header and here is footer. And I'm going to save. But the idea is now I've added both of them on the same page design or the same partial design, which is incorrect. So what I'm going to do now is actually go back to my header partial design and make sure it only has the header. So I'll delete this one. And I'll go to the footer and add it to the footer partial design. Now that I've created the header and footer partial designs, I'll just create a default page design that should consist of both of them. So I'll just call it default. And this default partial design is going to have the header, an empty location, and the footer. Now, when we open any page by default, it still doesn't use this page design. So you can see that the header and footer are not there. It's still showing empty placeholders for header and footer. Here. So what I need to do now is actually choose the page design for this page to be default. Save and refresh. And as you can see here, it says header and it says footer. Now, that's the first option that you can actually define page design per page. You do have, however, other options or other capabilities like you can actually go into the page design and do a template mapping. So I'll say that app root should always use the default and example custom route type should always use default. What this will do is any page of this type 
we automatically use that page design so it's a mapping between the two so let's see now a page like style guide now has header and footer even though I haven't specified page design here but it's actually getting it because its template is app route the custom route type example custom route type is the template so it again should have a header and footer and as you can see here it does have a header and footer now one of the really nice things in Sycor 9.2 is that you are also able to do that based on a design rule so for example let's say I want the header to not be on example custom route type with specific conditions like let's say if a specific field is empty let's say if the title is empty I want to actually choose another page a different page design so let's actually let's do that so I'll create a new page design here just duplicate this one and call it default to this one will not have the header it will only have the footer just to show you the capabilities here and I just want to check a field that's there so we have page title so I'll put a condition if the page title is empty use default to instead so if page title is empty I'll use default to should of course verify that the field name is correct so I'm gonna go back to this page and verify page title is just is not just the display name but rather the actual field name and I'll copy the field name and edit rule again just to make sure that the field name is correct and I'll create a new style guide page so I'll duplicate this page and call it style guide 2 with an empty page title now this example doesn't really show much but it shows the, the capabilities there if I open style guide 2 you'll see here that the header is not shown it's empty whereas the footer is shown that's because it's using the default to whereas style guide because it has a title here it has the header as well as the footer one thing as well that I can show you just to prove that this is actually happening in real time so I'll just add any title here and open it again and there you have it the header has been added as well this is really one of the nice features that everyone who's been using Sycore Experience Accelerator really loves and now it can be used with JSS as well. Thank you for watching.